हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाय हैप्पी धनतेरस एंड हैप्पी दिवाली टुडे इज टेंथ ऑफ नवंबर 2023 फ्राइडे एंड आई एम हियर टू शेयर विथ यू वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग केस वेयर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग ट्रीटमेंट वी प्रिवेंटेड अ मेजर मेडिकल कॉम्प्लिकेशन इन समवंस लाइफ दिस यंग मैन एज थर्टी ईयर्स केम टू मी ऑन द डेट सेवेंथ ऑफ सप्टेंबर टू obviously he came for a sexual problem now we have this protocol to go in details of preliminaries the background as well as the lifestyle and we first measure the blood pressure of every new patient that comes to our clinic and surprisingly or you can say even shockingly this young guy his blood pressure when the staff measured it the assistant measured it was 188 by 144 188 by 144 so he was asked to relax wait for 10 15 minutes before he was taken into my chamber and after relaxation also his bp was pretty high 180 from 188 it came to 180 just 180 and from 144 it came to 136 now what happens that many times when patient come for the first time to us or to any doctor they tend to get little tense and anxious which can boost their or you know uh, bring out bring up their blood pressure but this was not the case so even after relaxation his bp was very high now friends this is a very high bp medically we call it as accelerated hypertension or malignant hypertension and if patient is not aware bp is a silent killer remember blood pressure high blood pressure and diabetes are silent killers if they are chronically increasing in your case gradually over period of months and couple of years you will not even have any symptom because body get used to it body start getting used to it and then one fine day there can be a break even point when for example in this level of blood pressure if he meets with any sudden stress say overworking late nights partying dancing over exercising like you must have heard lot of you know fatal complication or cardiac arrest happening in the gym you know or any sudden mental stress can take this very high level of blood pressure to very next level and then from there it can just break the limits and it can lead to sudden cardiac death or even brain hemorrhage and paralysis so he came to us for sexual problem which can obviously be also due to this high bp for quite some time which he was not even aware about it he has studied from a most premium institute of india he is highly educated in a very well placed uh, obviously a very good job but due to stressful life fortunately his lifestyle in the sense of habits was not bad he used to smoke in past which he had already left couple of years ago so currently no alcohol no smoking but he has long hours stressful life now when we discovered his high bp for us priority is patient and his life and well being we uh, we all we doctors don't see patient as customer it's not business for us medical science medical profession is a very noble profession where people come to us with their suffering they share our suffering they share our, their life they share their emotions emotional pain trauma stress with us and we empathetically we empathize them we are friend philosopher and guide to them we listen to them and we try to participate in their pains and problem and help them out so with this gentleman obviously for us it was not priority to start treating him for the sexual problem that with which he had come from medical perspective after knowing his very high blood pressure in a dangerous zone the first and only priority was to tell him to get this treated first and also obviously investigated why such a high bp and yes uh, he was of course he was 
shocked to know this in front of me he called his old school friend who has become a doctor now in a different city i spoke to that friend of his who is a doctor and he could immediately understand the gravity of situation and he also convinced this guy because initially there was a denial he was not ready to understand and accept okay, he can have such a high bp and he was not able to understand the importance of treating that as the only priority which was very well explained to him uh, without creating any fear but i had to explain him that this is the priority you have to attend now you have to see a good cardiologist a good md or dm cardiologist physician get this treated immediately as well as in well investigated and yes fortunately he got convinced without any treatment from us on that day for his sexual problem he left the clinic and he immediately resorted for further medical help for his very high blood pressure he got admitted in a well known hospital for two days halter monitoring was done he was monitored he was investigated for everything incidentally it turned out to be just a big huge renal stone which was painless and which was creating reverse pressure on the kidneys and also leading to high bp so he got treated for all that he got his blood pressure controlled and he had as i told you he had come on 7th september first time and then he reported today on 10th of november 2023 and he was very thankful to us he said doctor thanks you really guided me so well and i you prevented a major catastrophe or major you know medical complication in my life and now i am here please treat me for my sexual problem so this is what is required a human approach a scientific approach a medical approach in this noble profession and that's what we are here for so it it often happens with many of us doctors that before treating we even prevent major complication in someone's life i hope this opens up your eyes for the silent killers like high bp and diabetes have get it checked regularly no harm in getting it checked simple test sometimes and i'll keep sharing with you there are many such histories in my 33 years of practice person comes for a different problem but underlying root cause is something really different sometimes of very grave order you know something of a very major nature with this a very different attention on its own merit so in brief we have uh, people have come to us with uh, sexual problem let's say erectile dysfunction what we, what we have discovered underlying problem is pituitary adenoma a tumor in the brain or cardiac disease coronary artery disease ihd ischemic heart disease heart is not able to you know take exertion during sexual activity and not able to provide you know blood to the penile organ for a good erection hypothyroid kidney failure liver failure you know this kind of cases we have uncovered discovered where pe- people have just come for their problem of premature ejaculation or mainly erectile dysfunction and this medical background touch to be very important so i hope this makes sense to you when i'm sharing this case histories it's just to create awareness you know about life about health about fitness about lifestyle about stress about medical science so see you soon we show very happy diwali once again and a happy new year god bless you with health happiness and prosperity bye bye